you wrote the film. Uh, you've known Sean for a very long time, and uh, as we met yesterday for an interview, you told me, joking, that uh, you're like an odd couple, which means no sex, but a lot of affection and a lot of memories together. I, I can say it. Okay. <laughs> There's context there, yeah. Um, euh, Nick a écrit le scénario du film, il connaît Sean depuis de très longues années, et euh, hier quand on s'est rencontrés, ils me disaient tous les deux euh, en plaisantant qu'ils étaient comme un vieux couple, c'est-à-dire que euh, pas de sexe entre eux, mais beaucoup d'affection et beaucoup de souvenirs. How did you uh, wrote the film, how did you write the film uh, with all these uh, memories, with uh, common past together? Personally, I didn't say no sex. <laughs> we had to do the interview in a bed together because there wasn't any room for two chairs, so that's why this comment was made yesterday. Uh, but it's cool, it's like Johnny Oko kind of thing. L'interview s'est faite dans un lit parce qu'il n'y avait pas deux fauteuils, donc c'était tous les deux dans le lit comme un vieux coup, effectivement. Okay, no, seriously. Uh, yeah, I mean, very simply, I think it kind of comes down to trust and the fact that Sean trusted me to write something that he could put his name on and that I wouldn't embarrass him too much and that I would write something and hand it over to him knowing that he was going to kind of have the last word during the shoot and that I trusted even if he fucked it up the way he fucked it up would be interesting. <laughs> Euh, c'est surtout une question de confiance. Sean m'a fait confiance pour que j'écrive quelque chose et qu'il ne soit pas trop embarrassé de, de mettre son nom dessus en sachant qu'il aurait le, le mot final dessus. Oui, et quand nous étions en train de faire, j'ai juste essayé de faire... Nick était sur le set pour beaucoup de raisons, parce que je voulais le faire rire, je voulais le voir 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 rire, et puis je savais que nous étions sur le bon chemin. Uh, and I would, you know, and it was, it's, it was my first movie directing, his first movie writing, and it is thrilling just to even hear the words that, and especially because he wrote the script so long ago, just seeing it come to life. And um, but we were always making it, changing it on set a little bit. Uh, Nick était sur le tournage pendant assez longtemps pour plein de raisons et surtout parce que j'avais très envie de le faire rire, j'avais envie de l'entendre rire et donc uh, c'était très bien qu'il soit là et. Uh, et um, after the oh, just that we would, um, we were, we were constantly making it, like just improving on it as, while we were together. Oh, yeah, c'était très étonnant de voir à la fin ce que ça donnait parce qu'il y a eu énormément de changements et de réécriture sur le tournage. And when there was a performance not working, instead of being a good director and fixing it, we just kind of changed everything to just to the performer or someone else. Au lieu de d'améliorer les choses, on a juste euh, on préférait tout changer. But everybody in the film pretty much is great. Et tout le monde est euh, merveilleux dans le film. Donc, so mon premier travail de directeur était très facile. Mon premier travail de euh, cinéaste était vraiment facile. Vous um, uh, avez travaillé sur beaucoup de films comme le DOP avec uh, Alex Crossberry et uh, Joshua Ben Savi et uh, plus récemment avec Virgile Vernier. Oui. Right. <laughs> Yeah, an excuse to work with French people. Uh, I really, I love it. And I get Excuse me, I can't oh, okay. say it. Oh, okay. You've worked on a lot of films as a chef operator with Alex Rosberry and the Frères Saldi and very recently with Virgil Verdi. Right. So, yeah, uh, Vir Virgil is a guy I've kind of barely known, but I know his movies and he's, I just, I just love, I, I have a lot more faith in contemporary French movies than, than in the American ones, so uh, I want to work here more. Je connais Virgile de loin et j'aime beaucoup ses films et j'ai beaucoup plus confiance dans le le cinéma contemporain français que dans le cinéma américain. No, it sounds like I'm just here like looking for work, but that was <laughs> I'm, I'm just very excited to show it here because it's, it is a place that I, I and I have a lot of friends here. And, and, uh, as as much as New York, I feel like this is a, a movie, you know, for for you guys, this, for this city. On dirait maintenant que je cherche, que je suis en train de chercher du travail, mais je suis très heureux de présenter le film ici. J'ai beaucoup d'amis ici, et je suis très content. Because it is a movie nerd movie, ultimately. A movie.
Yeah, yeah, for nerds. No, it's for cool guys. Yeah, yeah. We'll also have to be cinephiles. I mean, look at this crowd. This is good looking a crowd. Uh, you had your uh, work premiere in uh, Director's Fortnite in Cannes. Um, was it important for you to show the film in France for the first time? Yeah, that was always the dream. Oh, um, oh. They <laughs> Uh, you had your first mondial at the Quinzaine des Cinéastes. Why is it important that the premiere is in France? No, I forgot. Oh, no. Um, yeah, well, we, you know, we, we, it gave us, well, we got into Berlin. I shouldn't say it. We got into Berlin, but I said, no, I actually think, well, also we had a, a sound mixing, uh, scheduling mistake, maybe. So anyway, I used that as I really wanted Ken, and so I said no to Berlin, and it was dangerous, maybe risky, but uh, it really worked out, because of course I wanted it to play Director's Fortnite. Well, we also predicted how shitty Germany would be about the Palestine conflict. Uh, <laughs> we just kind of saw that coming. Just so, yeah, you just said that. Yeah, so. Um, uh, Bernard avait proposé, avait invité le film, mais uh, je me suis servi d'une excuse de mixage pour uh, uh, ne pas dire oui et attendre Cannes, mais c'était vraiment très important pour moi que le film soit montré à Cannes. Et puis, uh, uh, vous aviez prévu que uh, Zerlin ne serait pas uh, au niveau concernant la Palestine. Non, oui, donc... Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I know it's bad form to, to be accepted at a festival and then turn it and then say no, but uh, I did it and I'm glad I did it. So, and now this is our second premiere here, I guess, right? So. Yeah, and I should say Sean doesn't doesn't know this, but my mother lived in this city when she was a little girl in the golden fifties, <laughs> and I have such a great deal of affection for it, and she did too, and it's so nice to be. I think Nick is very proud of his French. He should have been just. Speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean ne sait pas. C'est une partie de l'histoire de l'enfance de Nick, mais sa, sa mère uh, a vécu uh, ici uh, quand elle était enfant. Uh, you still have secrets for each other. Yeah, sure. That's how we keep it spicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we speak French to each other. I don't understand. It. Yeah. I think it's time for the film. God, yes. Yeah, made a fool of myself. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks. Thanks to thanks to Zemkin for putting this movie out. That was a part. Honestly, wait, hold on. We we met we met before we made the movie. That's when we made the movie. Et vu que vous allez adorer le film, n'hésitez pas à en parler pendant 10 jours jusqu'à sa sortie le 13 mars. Voilà. Bonne chance à vous.